Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Make sure that you're lying down, you're being still and quiet so that you can listen to the story and relax your body. Kim was at school. She had a routine. Every lunchtime, she sat on a bench at school. And every lunchtime, a very special bird would fly down and sit next to her. This happened every day for the longest time and no one ever seemed to notice. The bird was an eagle. And after some months of sitting next to Kim every day on the bench at school at lunchtime, the eagle started to talk. The eagle's name was Kristen. Kristen was a very wise bird. Kristen was wise because she was an eagle. Eagles get to see everything from a higher perspective. That means they have an understanding of why people do what they do because they can watch from up above, from high up above in the sky. When they fly around and look down below, they see the reason for everything. They have a higher perspective. One day, Kristen was talking to Kim about a boy at school called Billy. The boy was a bully. Billy was a bully. Billy bullied boys and girls. He was constantly mean. He was never nice. He bullied kids in the classroom. He bullied them on the playground. He was just a bully. Billy had lots and lots of friends, but they weren't really his friend. You could say that they were his friend because they were scared of him. So they would just go along with everything that he did. But really, they probably weren't his friend because Billy wasn't a very nice boy. Like I said, he was a bully. Kim had been bullied that morning by Billy. He pushed past her in the classroom and almost knocked her on the ground. He needed to sharpen his pencil and he didn't really mind who was in his way or who was first. Kim was still sad and upset about it. Even though the teacher warned Billy, it still made Kim sad. Kristen said, Well, maybe there's a reason that Billy's the way that he is. Maybe... There's a reason that isn't obvious to everyone here at school. But to me, I've seen what happens when Billy goes home. Kim was listening to the bird. Kristen explained more. When Billy goes home, he has two older brothers. And his older brothers bully him all the time. They push him around. They tell him what to do. They call him mean names. Billy is constantly bullied at home. And even when he tells his mom and dad about it, nothing ever seems to change. Billy is super sad inside and really, really unhappy. Kim said, Well, that doesn't give him a reason to bully everyone at school. You would think if he was bullied at home and he didn't like it, he wouldn't do that to other people at school. Why would he bully other people at school when he gets bullied at home? That doesn't make any sense. Kristen the eagle said, I know it doesn't make sense. It doesn't have to make sense. But the truth is, Billy feels like he's in more control when he's a bully at school. He feels like he's not so weak, like he's not being picked on so much. So to him... He thinks bullying people at school is the only thing he can do to feel better about himself. But really, Billy should just be nice to people at school and make more friends and that would be even better than being a bully. He just doesn't know that yet. I understand, said Kim. I still don't like the fact that he's a bully. 
but I understand what you mean. It must be horrible to be picked on all the time at home, especially by your brothers who's supposed to love you. Yes, said Kristen. It's not very nice at all. Another day, Kim was sat on the bench. It was lunchtime and she was eating her lunch when Kristen came along and landed down by the side of her. Kim wondered if Kristen knew the reason why one of the girls at school called Sally was always quiet. She was so quiet and so, so shy. She never, ever talked to anyone. I know why, said Kristen. One time, I was flying high in the sky. I was looking down over Sally's house and I got a whole different perspective of what was going on with Sally and why she's so quiet all the time. Sally's mum and dad argue non-stop. Unfortunately, they're not happy with each other and they shout and fight and shout and fight constantly. Sally has learned that if she's quiet at home, she stays out of the middle of the argument and she doesn't get involved. Sometimes in the past, if she said something, both her mum and her dad have turned the anger around and put it on to Sally and Sally got in trouble. Now Sally knows to stay quiet. Sally survives when she stays quiet. It's what she's learnt. Unfortunately, Sally's also quiet at school. She's become so quiet and withdrawn that she doesn't know how to be any other way anymore. Sally's frightened that if she speaks up or talks, she might get into trouble, or she might be the blunt of someone's anger, just like at home with her parents. She doesn't want that, so she stays quiet. Wow, said Kim. Poor Sally. I would have never known. I just thought Sally was shy and quiet and kind of moody. I didn't realize she had all that going on at home. Poor Sally. Yes, said Kristen. They talked some more about other things, and then Kristen flew away, up high into the sky. On another day, Kim was sat at her bench, and the eagle landed down by the side of her. Can we talk about Sarah today? said Kim. I'm concerned about Sarah, Kristen said. What's going on? Kim said. Well, Sarah's so loud. She's loud. She interrupts everyone. She always wants to be the center of attention. She's always laughing higher and louder than everyone else and being in the middle of everyone's conversations. Why does she do that? One day, said Kristen, I was flying over Sarah's house and I got to see what happens at home. Sarah has a big family. Altogether, seven brothers and sisters. That's a lot of children, all fighting for mum and dad's attention. Sarah's decided that if she's loud, and she laughs the loudest, and she talks the loudest, and she's always the center of attention, Sarah gets her mum and dad's attention. She gets her brother's and sister's attention. Everyone needs attention because attention translates to someone feeling like they're loved or worthy or good enough to be listened to or heard. That's very important for everyone. Everyone needs to feel like they're good enough to be heard. Sarah doesn't feel like that. Sarah is actually very insecure. That's why she's so loud. She's loud so that she will be heard, and when she's heard, she feels like someone has seen her, and when someone has seen her, that validates the fact that she feels worthy of being heard and translates to, I am likable. I am lovable. Sarah just wants to be liked. Sally just wants to be quiet and ignored so she stays safe. And Billy, Billy the bully, well, he just wants to not be bullied. He'd like very much to just be normal. Kim said, you see everything from up there. 
Kristen said, "That's right. When you get to see from a higher perspective, like I do, you gain understanding. You gain an understanding how people act the way that they do, because there tends to always be a reason, always a reason that no one else knows about. I bet everyone in your class has a reason for being who they are and the way that they act." That no one else knows about. That's why it's always good to be compassionate. It's always good to try and be understanding, to not always just react in a way that you think, "Oh, because that person's quiet, they don't like you," or "Because that person's a bully, they're just mean," or "Because this person's so loud and in your face, they're just always noisy and annoying." No. There's always a reason for the way that people act. To be compassionate means to be open and understanding, and maybe see from a higher perspective why people act the way that they do. That's why eagles are very wise; they get to see everything, not just what's on the surface, but what's behind the scenes. What's really happening in someone's life, and that's a gift. And when you can see that, you can understand. And when you can understand people, you can have compassion, and you can be caring and kind. Kim said, "I'm going to practice that. I'm going to practice seeing things from a higher perspective and trying to understand." The way that people act before I react. Good idea," said Kristen, the eagle, who was very, very wise. The end.